Kong gets tangled up in a new release from Star Ace. Here's a look at the Kong Skull Island Kong 2.0 Defo Real Vinyl Figure. King Kong goes toe-to-toe, -to -toe, or toe-to-tentacle, against a giant squid in this scene depicted from the popular film Kong Skull Island. First thing we're going to do to get underway with this review, I just rhymed there, is to figure out how tall Kong 2.0 stands. And for that, I'm going to use my trusty tape measure. Star Ace, by the way, supplied this sample copy that we're going to be having a look at. So big thank you to Star Ace for that. According to the tape measure and according to what I gauged was the top of Kong's head, you're looking at the vinyl figure of Kong 2.0 standing 6.4 inches in height. That in centimeters for members of the mob who favor their measurements in centimeters, 16.4, almost 16 and a half centimeters tall. Though a short scene, the vinyl figure is based on Kong's slight tussle, very short battle with a giant squid. He's already tending to wounds he had suffered earlier, and while being in a water, open water area, Kong noticed things swing around in the water, and I don't know if he was actually poking his finger into the water, making the ripples, because he was trying to lure the tentacles and the, really what would be the giant squid over to him so he could then gain some lunch. But one thing led to another, stuff hit the fan, and before you knew it, Kong was battling a giant squid. It certainly wasn't a very long battle, ultimately resulted in Kong squashing the giant squid, and then dragging the rest of its carcass back for what I'm guessing would be the remainder of his lunch. But what it was, for what a short period of time it was, it definitely was a fun thing to see on film, especially with the special effects being better than probably some of the stuff that they could have pulled off decades earlier. Kong looked epic and grand, fighting what already was an unsurmountable feat being able to fight off such a giant squid. But yeah, Kong stood his own. Star Ace has very nicely crafted this short epic battle of the two towering behemoths. I guess the squid really wasn't a towering behemoth, but his tentacles certainly surrounded Kong quite quickly. They've managed to shrink this down into a super stylized vinyl figure. I say super stylized because if you are followers of the Defo Real series like I am, favor the almost not quite cuter nature of these, but certainly by the fact that the proportions of things like his head are much larger versus the smaller scale of his body. That's usually what I mean when I say deformed. It usually indicates the fact that the proportions are thrown off on the vinyl statue. And that's essentially what we're, uh, what we're getting right here. This is also a statue, so there's nothing that has any posability to it. Head and arms and things like that will not move. What you are, however, getting, though, is quite the splendid representation of the king of the island, Kong himself. Uh, first and foremost, I guess we can kind of look at the base and we'll work our way up. The base has quite the tussled waters, the waves being made, of course, as the two monsters are fighting together. And again, it's not quite toe-to-toe, -to -toe, as I alluded at the beginning of this review, more, again, toe-to-tentacle. I really like the waves and the little sprays of water that they've got. They've uh, tipped the end of the water, it seems, in a whiter color. Kind of gives giving it the bit that it does look like there's waves that are coming away from this battle as the two creatures are fighting together. I love the fact that the tentacles are also given a kind of a 
clear coats over top of it so it does look wet. These tentacles emerging, of course, from water, you would hope that they would be of a wet nature. And like in the film, they managed to pull that also off here in the Defo Real version also. Kong is as furry as he was in his version one counterpart. Just again, now you've got the tangled nature of the tentacle wrapping around his neck. Several different tentacles, actually. He's grabbed a few with his arms and one largest. I guess the tentacles would, in theory, be all the same length and size. But it definitely looks here that the one in the middle that's wrapping around his neck seems the largest of the three. Down below, I believe that is either the eye or the mouth of the squid. Of course, the squid gets stepped on by Kong, and they've also sculpted that in as well, sculpting Kong's little tiny toes, stepping on top of, I'm guessing that would be the eye, perhaps this would be the head section here of the squid, stepping down on it. The only thing that they omitted from this release, and obviously I can understand why, is the little discharge of ink that squir squirts out basically the side of the head as Kong steps down on the squid. As for his face, uh, Kong's face is really done quite nicely. It's about the same style of design that we got with Kong 1. I've done a full review of that, certainly if you guys wanted to check that out. Not quite screaming in anguish, more screaming in anger than anything else. Kong clearly is angry the fact that he has to tussle with this squid, but I guess it does work its way out in the end. Perhaps he was needing some nourishment and the squid did more than, more than enough to sustain that. You can see that his eyes are done in an orange color. They've almost kind of got a slight tint uh, it's almost like a parchment style of yellow or orange that they've added to the eyeballs there. For a second, I almost feel as if I can see, like, veins. And I think the closer I look at it, providing the camera's able to get that close, 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 too close, not close enough. Yeah, you can see that there's the veins done around the eyes. For such a small detail as the irises, as the eyeballs, you manage to that they can put that much detail into something like eyeballs is really quite impressive. The mouth is open, exposing some slightly slicked teeth. Looks like they are covered in slime themselves. And even like the tongue gets that little bit of sheen, a clear coat added to that as well. The fur itself is really done quite nicely, as really the tentacles. The fur is done in two tones of brown. It seems like a darker tone. And then the hairs above that are done in a lighter shade of brown. Whereas the tentacles are almost come, coming to us in various different shades of bubblegum pink. Certainly this is not the bubblegum you would want to be chewing on, even though Kong favors this himself. Nice, really nice detailing that they've managed to add to the surface of the tentacles themselves. Really liking that. In a way also, the tentacles does do a good job of breaking up what would be otherwise a rather dark, muddy sort of color scheme. Between the fact that the waterway is all done in a kind of a greenish brown, Kong himself is just a combination of browns and grays, the pink really does a great job of breaking up that. And really for the fact it is wrapped around his head, even though it's patterning it from the scene in the film, wrapping it around his head also does all of a sudden now make his head pop. Not literally, quite could be very quite literally, but because it's wrapping around his head, it automatically makes his head stand out because he's got the pink wrapping around it. The brown now stands out as a result of it. It's again a really nice representation of Kong. I'm really a big, big fan of these Defo Real series because it does give you a lot of impact. And certainly a scene like this, for example, it has a lot of excitement going for it. I'm also a big fan of super deformed characters. So when you are able to take something like a scene as grand as it was in Kong Skull Island, where Kong is battling this giant squid, and you're able to oh, shrink it down, didn't mean to startle you with that sound effect, into something smaller and compact, it definitely means that you can then display multiples of these on things like office shelves and even on your desk. It's a really nice job represented here, once again, by the folks over at Star Ace. Of course, we also get this tasty squid morsel as sort of an appetizer what will be the eventual release of Godzilla vs. King Kong, and I'm super excited for that. I've always been a big fan of monster films and loving both Godzilla and King Kong. I can't wait to see those two behemoths go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. 
that is a true example of monsters going toe to toe, not toe to tentacle. Really digging this piece a lot. I like the color scheme. And again, really by incorporating the colors of the pinks of the tentacles really does bring a lot of extra much needed color to what would have been an otherwise pretty drabby looking color scheme. Nothing faulting Kong. Kong, of course, is primarily really just browns and grays. But then when you've got the waterway all brown as well, that pop of pink, though not intentionally expected by Kong, really does add a lot of much needed color. The suction cups also on the back of the, tent of the tentacles really again just add a whole lot of extra texturing and detailing. Really again liking how this piece turned out. I want to send a big thank you once again to the folks over at Star Ace who were nice enough to send this sample my way. Today we were having a look at the Kong Skull Island. This was the Defo Real Kong 2.0 vinyl figure. What do you guys think of it? Let me know down below in the comments section. And if you guys want to check out some more Star Ace reviews, make sure you check out my playlist of the various Star Ace pieces that I've been looking at over the years. Make sure as well you hit that subscribe button. And periodically, why don't you check on over at the homepage and see what's going on over there. I can't really say and promise that there's going to be a big party happening over there, but if you feel along the ways you may have missed your mark and maybe lost your way on this channel and feel like there's content still happening while maybe you're not part of the party, by all means, check on over to the homepage and see if there's anything that you may have missed. All the videos that I've done up to this point, and of course all future videos, that's how it works after all, will be found on the homepage. So periodically check on over at the homepage and see if there's anything you may have missed. We're going to have a whole bunch of reviews coming your way, so keep your peepers peeled for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.